Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am here with my beautiful son, Emmett. <laughs> 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 and we are so excited. Are you excited to be back? Yeah, I'm happy to be back with everybody. Yay! We have had an amazing holiday season, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, it's been great. And yeah. Emmett is headed back to New York City tomorrow, <laughs> but he offered to film a video with his mom, which I'm always so appreciative of, and he is a fellow frag lover would you say definitely yeah yeah he's a good he has a good nose and then i have a bunch of perfume some new perfumes here that i thought we would have him smell through we've got a new brand that i'm super excited about this is who is elijah and this is i believe an australian brand that i had discovered when i was in LA. <laughs> I had picked up one of their fragrances and now I've got a couple new ones as well as their collective that has several perfumes that we can just oh, wow. do a quick little smell of. We also have, I thought we would have Emmett do a little kind of smell test between the two creeds. I got his dad. <laughs> my hubby, the Absolute Aventus. This is the limited edition. And then this is the, just the regular one that he loves, the goat. And I thought we would have Emmett smell the new one, kind of compare the two of them, as well as um, a release from Roja. This is Isola Blue. I am so excited about this perfume. And then I've got a couple new releases from the House of Siage. So I just thought we would have like some, you're going to be smelling some stuff today. <laughs> let's if do that's it. okay. Let's do it. Okay. Do you want to start with Creed? Sure. Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, are you familiar with Aventus? Not particularly, no. Okay, this is your dad's absolute favorite cologne. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> um, and it's very popular. Okay. So it's one of Creed's best sellers and it is pretty amazing. So I wanted to see what you think of that. It's got a little bit of pineapple in it. Very fresh. Yeah, it's very fresh. It's a little like... Uh tropical in a way yeah maybe even, yeah island vibes a little <laughs> bit um i'm a little surprised he likes it because it's definitely like pineapple forward in terms of smell it's but i think it's really fresh and nice in that way it feels very uh i don't know i don't feel like it would like i don't think it doesn't seem like it would get weird after like it's on you for i think it would stick around just as it is yep it has some good it's one of these freshies I love it on him, but I love it on myself. Yeah, it's, so I can see it's um, strong for sure. Well, I just sprayed it out, so it'll kind of settle a little yeah. bit. But it is just an amazing fresh with a touch of pineapple in it, and it just it is a good kind of invigorating. Um, I just love the way it smells on your dad. Yeah, I love to wear it myself. And then they came out with the limited edition. This is the Aventus Absolute, and I ended up picking that up for him because he's such a fan of Aventus. And so he was saying, if you love this, mm -hmm. you could have that to take with oh, you wow. back to okay. New York <laughs> if you wanted. That's a pretty generous offer. If right. you feel. Yeah, I'll think about it. Um, we also have our little boy in here. Olaf <laughs> helping us. <laughs> um, I'll let you smell this and I'll, I'll do the note comparison in two seconds. And Olaf wants to be involved in this. Okay. Mm, it's good. It's, um, I don't feel like it's, it, it feels like a little more layered. It doesn't feel like it's quite as uh, pineapple forward as the regular Aventus. Yep. 
Mm, yeah. It feels almost a little more mellow in a way. Maybe a little creamier. Maybe. Yeah, a little creamier. A little creamier. Um, again, this one kind of, the original has that kind of punch to it, would you say? Yeah, definitely that. I mean, when I said strong earlier, the original is, it's not a bad strong. It's just that it's very clear about what it's trying to be <laughs> versus I feel like the absolute is a little more like, I feel like you could probably blend that one with other fragrances if you yeah, wanted it, it, or if you wanted to like not have it be. Mm. I don't know. It seems like it could be more of like a, an evening fragrance or something. That's or like true. A, that's true. Like this, uh, yeah, like, like you would say this would be kind of your day fragrance. Yeah. And yeah. And this one has, it, it feels in a, in a mature way, a little more tempered. I feel yes. like. Yes. Let me read the notes real quick between the two of them. We'll see what the difference is. So the original Creed has a fruity little bite to it. It has notes of apple, black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot with a complimentary fresh and fruity heart of jasmine, pineapple, and patchouli. And then it is in a base of birch, and broxen, cedarwood, oak moss, and musk. And this one's kind of described as a woody, fresh scent with a fruity hit. And then in the absolute Aventus, the head notes are bergamot, lemon, blackcurrant, grapefruit, and ginger. Maybe it's the grapefruit that sort of tempers it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense in yeah. terms of why it's, like it still has the citrusy uh, sort of sharp smell to it, but it feels a little more uh, temp. I feel like gra it's a little grapefruit more... and ginger and lemon are, you know, strong in many ways, but they're probably not as like, uh, n not as directly noticeable as pineapple. Pineapple is sort of a distinct. And then, then in the heart note, it's, it's got so the pineapple, pineapple patchouli, pink pepper, cardamom, and cinnamon. So this, yeah, one, that makes uh, sense. this one has some warmer um spices in it that's that, sort of what yeah, i meant by the night really smell like it doesn't seem like it's as uh yeah it doesn't seem like it's as tropical per se it has a little bit more of like a spice like a spice notes it, to this it this one definitely you're gonna get that juicy fruity pineapple punch to it and then whoopsie um <laughs> And then in the base notes of this one, you have the Haitian vetiver, cashmere wood, labdanum, abroxin, musk, and oak moss. And so there's some more warmth to this. Yeah. Whereas this one, I feel like, is truly like invigorating and it's kind of addictive. But I really love this one. I think mm -hmm. your dad loves this one a bit more. That as would make well. sense. That's kind of what I was saying. It like seems you like were this... surprised by. He likes clean and fresh scents, but this one almost feels like it had a, a slight bit too much, like, fruit <laughs> to it. <laughs> yeah, so you were surprised that he liked yeah. that kind of green. Um, the green apple and the pineapple and such. And then I think the, makes, the cinnamon and that sort of, the, the cinnamon in there. Cardamom, yeah. warmer. These are both, I like both of them, but you're right, like, for myself, which one would you pick for me to wear? Probably the... This the, one? Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's, it's kind of fruity. Depends I think on the it, person. I mean, I think I probably would rather wear the Aventus. Yes. But I think this definitely makes sense for evening fragrance special occasion i think for i'm sort of imagining like a i don't know older middle-aged guys <laughs> i feel like this has for their certain like i don't know for a certain clothing style yeah. or a certain evening out like that an one. elegant it yeah. has an elegance to it yeah this one feels a little more special and elegant this one just feels really clean and fresh and yeah. very distinct but i don't think it's quite as like I haven't really smelled something that's as close to this versus I think I can think of a few off the top of my head that have a f similar feels to um, the event. And this was one that we thought you would like. I really I do like that. Okay, one, yeah. yeah because, I don't know if I would wear this one personally, okay. but I don't I think that's You feel it's like a, it's, it's a little, more distinguished per, like it's a little it's maybe too complex. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now Emmett is a Chanel Bleu man. Mm -hmm. And we just got him some for yeah. the holidays. Um, but this was one that Dad said, if you love it, okay. he can take it with you back. It's very nice. Yes, it is. That is actually a nice, I know, I know. A nice offer. Um, 
<laughs> okay, where do you want to go next? Do you want to do... Yeah, why don't we try these two in the cool boxes? Okay, next we are going to be sharing, talking about some new launches from House of Siage. And the, the joke is I have a ton of House of Siage boxes in my home, <laughs> perfumes, and um, we have two special launches that they have recently launched and they often do uh, collaborations like with Disney and then do you know this show Wednesday? I'm familiar. I'm familiar. You are familiar. Okay good because I'm actually not as familiar but I am familiar with Disney and <laughs> they oh, have, wow, yeah. I know, they just launched this beautiful uh, Disney 100th anniversary Minnie Mouse here and I just have to show you um, their fragrances are stunning but the the presentation of their fragrances are like special yeah like, absolutely this is crazy um let's take a peek at this look how cute this is this is a special limited edition mini mouse fragrance we will smell it but i just have to share with you um, the packaging is absolutely stunning it's got the swarovski crystals here uh, the cute mini mouse bow and then the purple i mean is that pretty? It's very cool. Yeah. It's cool. So yeah, this is cool. Let me share the notes. Let's get this open here. Um, just really pretty. I'll spray a little. Thank you. Is that him? And here we go. Let me spray. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Minnie Mouse fragrance. This is the celebration of Disney's hundredth anniversary perfume. This is the wonder of Minnie Mouse. And what do you think? This, <laughs> <laughs> this one, you guys, this has some yeah, presents some too. Kick to yeah. It. So this has juicy orange lemon and apple in the top notes. I definitely am smelling that. Mm -hmm. like, like It's very fruity. Um, the heart notes, lily of the valley, uh, orange blossom, and violet. I kind of feel like I smell that violet. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's really getting pretty now. When it first came out, oh, I'm, now I know what it is. Strawberry. Then in the base <laughs> note, it's strawberry. Sandalwood and musk. The strawberry is strong. Yes. Yeah, so initially, but I actually feel like you can start getting all the individual notes after it's relaxed yes. for like this musk and the sandalwood in my mind like, come through pretty yes. Pretty clearly. And you know what? This one is um uh, the basically it's created to kind of have the essence of joy, playfulness, and charm in both of you. <laughs> like when we first smelled this, like initially we were it was like woo, yeah. yeah it's, like, well, it's, it's, I was going to say it definitely makes sense Disney. as like a Disney Minnie Mouse sort of scent. I think there's lots of like, mm. I don't know. I'm thinking of like fruit cups and candy <laughs> and all sorts and all sorts and all sorts like being outside. It has a very like fun, positive, yeah, sort of fun childhood wholesome. nostalgia to it. Yeah. Um. So we have. Well, he's been to Disneyland, but we also, uh, my mom took all of us on a Disney cruise. Yeah. Which was a huge. Um. We all loved it. It was very cool. Yeah. yeah like, and that was not something that we were you know I don't, I don't think as a family ourselves we would do that but my mom was like gonna take us all on the Disney cruise and we were all super impressed you were it was there. fun you was so much fun um and so this does have that sure. I would say it has that <laughs> oh, you're bored already. no, no I got time tired I know uh, uh, no it's it's, one, it's really know. in your face but kind of in a sweet way it feels like it has some some yeah like people are talking about smell being very nostalgic and that sort of smelled like I don't know it's so fruit cups and like yeah. getting candy as a, as a kid yeah, and I don't know playing outside in like a field as a middle schooler it, ha it has yeah. very good it has um, very nostalgic happy. feel yeah. to it and it's really cute. So this is definitely for my Disney lovers. I actually have to say, um, this is actually as it's drying down too. It's quite it's, yeah. It's the initial spritz that yeah. feels like you're like smelling like a 
a strawberry candy yeah, or something. Yeah, they did. It like, was like, like what your mom had in the bowl. So for all the Minnie Mouse lovers, <laughs> that was super fun. And then you can give us a little. I don't know that much about okay. the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one we have. This is super cool, and this one is Wednesday, and. I have to say, the bottle of this one is so cool. Look at this. How awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. This is, is inspired by the show Wednesday. Okay. It's like a horror show. Okay, here is um, this gorgeous bottle. I mean, this is so cool, you guys. It truly is so stunning. I cannot wait to smell this one. I know. Okay. Let me just get it zoned in. Yeah, get it. This there you go. This so, is so stunning. It's very pretty. This is so cool, you guys. Like, oh, this little awesome. Okay, Emmett knows the show. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so I, I do know. It's from t last year, from 2023, almost two years ago. Um, it's sort of like a coming-of-age uh, Harry Potter-esque, uh, like, magic villain movie. It has Jenna Ortega, Emma Myers, and some other people. Jenna Ortega is the main... Yeah. Um, popular person in it. Um, so I think this is, has sort of like a creepy crawly yeah. ass aspect to <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say the bottle alone is stunning, but I suspect this is going to be a little like deeper, mysterious. Like, um, let me spray this out. Mm, that's good. Okay, let me give the notes in here. So yes, this pro the scent profile in this is going to be spicy floral and woody and in the top notes we have black pepper elemi resin saffron we've got turkish rose in the heart rose into folio magnolia blossom and then we've got agarwood caribbean vitiver patchouli indonesia all right okay Definitely the pepper is there. It has, yeah. a, it has a peppery... It's kind of interesting. It has a very interesting I like scent. I like this, yeah. I think it's one of the cooler ones I've smelled in a long time. The pepper is very interesting. What else did I have in it again? The saffron. The saffron's pretty there. I mean, the rose, you can sort of get a little bit of rose, mm -hmm. but I feel like the pepper... Mm, I like the this. The pepper really comes up. Yeah, it's nice, Isn't right? Isn't that... Yeah, so this one says you're going to step into the supernatural world of Wednesday where mystery and enchantment intertwine to create a fragrance like no other. It's inspired by the wickedly en enigmatic character from the hit series Wednesday and it invites you to embrace your individuality and revel in the beauty of darkness. There you go. Mm, I like this I think one it's a nice, lot. Yeah. Do you like that one? So you guys, this scent is, um, I don't, it's also not too, like I, when we were describing the show kind of being wicked and all that, there is that mystery part of it, but it isn't too dark. I no, would say. no, no, it's, it's, mm. It's not dark. I don't think it's bright yeah, either, no, no. but I it's think it's... It's not like uh, a creed. It no, is, no. But it is, uh, it's definitely got that kind of edge to it, but there's something... I don't know. We both immediately kind of, yeah, liked it's it. It's almost a little gothic in a way. Yeah. I don't know. It's cool. This is a really... It's very complex smelling. Yeah, it's complex. It is... I think it's more like seductive and mm. do you feel like that yeah. would be more of the vibe with that Definitely. rose and the saffron yeah mm, i really like this one and that this one we should smell in just a few minutes once See it how develops it, yeah. and, and i've noticed on the website that there is big sale on wednesday as well as the limited edition mini mouse so i will leave down all the information on these two cents in the description box along with the affiliate link so Definitely wanted to share those. Those are, those are those both are very, very cool. cool. They're yeah. really cool fragrances. I feel like they branch out from sort of, not scents as a whole, but they sort of yeah. branch out. They have clear uh, purposes and yeah. clear individualities to them. And those are, and I think they had captured, like they captured, you know, Disney. Yeah. And then they definitely have captured Wednesday. And I think for somebody who is a fan of this show how cute is this like what a great gift <laughs> um and also the fragrance i i really like this one it has a little bit of like 
um, earthiness and wittiness. Yeah, it's kind of a good way, though. Yeah, in a great way. I love yeah. that. Okay, so those are two fun releases from the House of Siage, and I'm so excited about this ne next fragrance. This is from Roja Parfums. This is one of my personal favorite brands. We've actually smelled quite a few of mm -hmm. these, and okay. this one is Isola Bleu. And wait till you check out this bottle. Um, this is so magnificent. It is just a stunning bottle right here. So pretty. I love the cap. Everything about this. And let's go ahead and smell this. I have smelled this. This is something that I have had on my wish list. So a little bit excited about this. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay, so this beauty is a freshy kind of like as if we're going on a vacation <laughs> to someplace warm with sunshine. Um, it has a little bit of coconut in here. Did you pick up I on did, that? I did, yeah. This beautiful scent. Um, it's kind of citrusy and it just sort of takes you away from it's kind of a rainy dull day here <laughs> kind of dank rainy and cold and oftentimes in the winter I find myself gravitating towards fragrances like this that are going to let me escape right in my mind to some place that's a little bit more tropical, a little bit more like warm and inviting. Um, and you would, I like wearing these in the summer too, but does that, do you get that vibe? It's kind of citrusy. It's got a little bit of creaminess to it. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, I, and not that the perfume actually smells this way, but it has sort of a, uh, like watery, yeah. beachy sort of scent yes, to it. Yes. Yeah. Not that this feels full and very like like you know, full and layered. But the it sort of gives you like your uh, it makes you feel like you're on some sort of blue body of water. <laughs> yeah, like the cap here. I don't know if you could see it, but it just is like is it? It's pretty bright. Yeah, bright blue. That's when I was looking at those cool. Um, you know, if you can travel to like Bali or something and mm. be out on the ocean and those um, hotels right on the ocean. That's like on my bucket list one day. Um, so this one has lemon and bergamot, lime, pink pepper, and coconut. Um, and so it is very like citrusy, which is not something I typically gravitate towards. I think I have been in this sort of like creed clean mode. Um, I've been really attracted to kind of these citrusy kind of fresh i don't know if i would call this one like oh this is super clean mm. um i mean it is it's invigorating but it has this like coconutty vibe to it as well right wouldn't you say but it's not like just coconut and like i think the thing about roja perfumes that doesn't have a list of a lot of notes here but they're very like smooth and balanced and for this genre yeah. of sort of a citrusy slightly tropical vibe mm -hmm. um it's not like oh this is just like coconut or this is just like lemon. no 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 no, no. it's like has this really beautiful dry down to it yeah i think like i think that it it is elevated like the bottle is mirroring kind of what is inside mm -hmm. would you say i agree yeah you have any i've been talking your ear off <laughs> no you have not <laughs> um no you haven't I Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. It looks a little better like that. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, it has a beach. I don't know if tropical is right. Where it yeah, feels sort it's of not like, tropical. Yeah, I think you're right. Because, um, I mean, there's some coconut in there, but it more feels like you're kind of somewhere warm. Yeah. <laughs> on, like, a, a sandy beach of some sort. Um, I mean, I think you said it was Mediterranean-inspired. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, like Mykonos or <laughs> somewhere like that. Uh, yeah, that, I think you're right. Like, you and I have... We're, this is, like, vacation in a bottle. Yeah. You know, and I think that's it. Is like, if you're feeling a little... If you get... I get the winter blues. I do kind of struggle a little bit with um, 
lack of sunshine. Mm -hmm. And I really lean into these kind of fragrances uh, during the winter months. And this is just like, it puts a smile on my face. It smells so good. Um, I just like, again, kind of like a Ventus, you know, it kind of has right. a little... Um, makes me smile and it makes me happy and I just feel like this one is just so pretty and again I really am not somebody who likes sort of too lemony of scents can lean into the cleaning product kind I don't of think this one has yeah now. that is nothing like that but it does have lemon it's mm -hmm. got lime in here um and the coconut to me I would you say it's like the meat of the coconut or more like coconut water which one is it? This one? Maybe more coconut. It doesn't feel like it's like super thick or yeah. sweet or anything. It kind of almost it's, was more like the like essence of like how like you have palm trees and coconuts yeah. and that sort of just, yeah. I feel like the coconut, it almost maybe the outside, it like has a little bit of like a, the woodiness of a yeah. coconut almost. Mm -hmm. I don't know about woody, but the husk but maybe i think it's like because sometimes coconut can kind of cr come across as like sunscreen i'm not mm, it's getting not that. that it's not powdery or no, sweet either it's not either that's exactly right i think there's a nice balance in here where it's not too sweet it's not very like it's not too citrusy it's not too sweet no. but it is definitely giving us the crystal blue <laughs> ocean um, vibes. And I don't know, I'm just loving this one. I've just been um, so excited to like wear it and it's just been really making me happy. Yeah, the it's other been day great. we went to a family party and I was wearing this and mm -hmm. I got three compliments <laughs> on how I smelled really good. Um, so of course that always uh, makes me happy. That makes you want, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you don't want to overdo it. Um, they just said you smell good. It wasn't like, ooh, you know, you have a sure. ton of perfume on that you, you know, when you're hugging people and such and saying hello, they're like, oh, you just smell so good. And this is what I was wearing. <laughs> um, I also picked that on purpose because yeah. I didn't want something that was going to overpower. Mm -hmm. We were with a it's lot of people. It's not super strong. No. no. Really love this one. Okay. So I wanted to have you smell this one All because right. you even said that one was good. Yeah, that one's great. Okay, then I'm so excited because I had discovered this brand. You have already heard me talk about who is Elijah Hayes. Um, I had gone on a trip to San Diego and LA and we discovered this little gem at a cute little boutique. Just fell in love with it. Had to have it. And then we got a few other perfumes that were sent to me from the brand. So always love that. And today we're going to be and today we're going to be smelling Wall Street. These are two of their newer launches. So Wall Street is a floral smoke wood scent and then rebel rose which is a rose spice wood scent and what i've heard is that the combination of these together is like stunning so this brand is a cruelty free gender list brand and they already have some like best sellers i believe haze is one of them there's another one i believe is called nomad that's like taken off uh, but again i had read that these two new launches mixed together combined make like an amazing scent but i have already smelled these ones so i'm gonna have mr emmett smell them individually give you his thoughts on them um and share i've really been enjoying this brand a lot and i think they have a lot of fun fragrances so we'll start with wall street and this one is the floral smoke wood scent i'll give you a little spritz here interesting <laughs> <laughs> it definitely had a little like when we first sprayed yeah. this out that so it says Meet Wall Street, just like the name portrays, be instantly transported to the hustle of New York City, uh, the city that never sleeps, that thrives off creativity and ambition. This smoky, woody, 
fragrance will ignite the power in you to be unstoppable. Just like the first day of spring, the tops notes are rose and raspberry, will remind you that power is nothing without passion. Mm. And the key notes in here are rose and raspberry and Egyptian geranium. What yeah, smell that? it's really, it's, I mean, it's very, that's there's a lot so, of interesting smells. Like when you first did it, it actually did, we were both like, mm, it probably was like, it smelled like New York City, a little a bit little, of grit, a little, a little bit, bit of yeah. grit. Okay, you know what I smelled immediately? It has oud in here, incense, and saffron, and so it, when I first smelled it, we were both kind of like, I, was it? It was kind of smoky, but I smelled that wood. Wood, wood can yeah. sometimes oud can kind of have sometimes a little bit of a almost slightly fecalness to it, or a um, you know kind of a little. Oof. Did you smell that or not? Yeah, it's a little funky. Yeah, a little bit of funk in the beginning of it, and then it has amber wood, benzoin, and leather. And, yeah, it has and, all sorts of different. Yes. The leather you can sort of get. I mean, the oud is pretty strong, I think. I think that, yeah, you definitely can smell the oud. It makes it kind of interesting, but it definitely, when we first, I didn't get the rose and raspberry until like right now. A little now. bit afterwards, yeah, though, yeah. yeah. And so they are saying that if we combine, well, let's smell this first individually. Right. This is the Rebel Rose, and this one is going to be rose spices and wood and they're saying if we combine both of them but i want to smell this individually so i was excited to hmm, try that combination so this is not like your grandma's rose that's kind of cool it's very yeah, i mean i like that one yeah that one's very cool that the this one is again not like a typical rose scent per se would you no, no, I mean, I feel like, no, it's definitely not typically, I don't think it's, it's definitely has a little bit of powder to it, but it's not super powdery. I mean, it's not like, it's not negatively rose. I think it has a sort of positive attribute of rose and raspberry, right? Yeah, this one. Is. Okay, this is the Rebel Rose. So the notes in here are going to be saffron, labdanum, cumin, pepper. Hmm, I'm going to say more. Okay, yeah. And then, the pepper through yeah, there. Yeah, Bulgarian rose, patchouli leaf, violet, and then in the base it's got leather, oud, amber, vanilla, and white musk. And I'm, yeah. are you smelling a little bit of, a little bit more sweet? There's this spiciness here. This, again, is not like typical rose scent. For any of you that don't like rose scents, don't be deterred by the name. Rebel would definitely. Rebel will give it away. It's not a typical rebel. No, sense. no, it's very cool. Yeah. Would you wear that yourself? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's interesting. This it's is... interesting enough that I think I would. I'm not a big rose person typically, but I, it's interesting enough that I could definitely consider. Yeah. Mm, definitely, I'm smelling like, you know, these are genderless. I would say definitely like. You know, it is not feminine leaning. No, no, this one is like this very interesting. I think it's a cool, interesting rose. As yeah, well, absolutely. With some leather in here, and there is a touch of that vanilla. I'm getting a little mm -hmm. bit of sweetness. Okay, then let's go ahead and pair it with the Wall Street. And <laughs> I can see why they're saying this. That's sure. Where, yeah, that the combination is supposed to be. Mm, yeah. <laughs> The combination of the two of these, Wall Street and Rebel Rose, um, is supposed to be such an amazing combination. Do we need to put a little bit more of the... No, actually, they mix together really interestingly. Yeah. I feel like together I would wear them. That's, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, I'm excited to try these. I was like, I had heard this is such a great it's layering sort of, piece. It to cuts get. some of the funk of this one with yeah. the rose, but then you still get the smoke, which I actually kind of like the smoke well, of yeah, this. That's yeah. a, okay, that's a great... That's exactly... You nailed it because this one, the oud was coming out of it. The rebel rose is going to tone that down yeah i think so and then i think that the spices as well as the um smoke in here mm -hmm. like that all come together they all for, come yeah, together yeah. 
Mm, that is really good. It's and great. Yeah, yeah. That, that this is such a good, interesting combo. I was super excited to. Um, I kept on hearing about this combo. I was like, yes, I would love to try this. So I'm excited. So we both love that. Between which one would you wear if you're just going to wear it? Yeah, the Rebel Rose is really cool. Yeah, we both really love Rebel Rose, and then the combination of these really makes it. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then I have the. Quick, I thought we'd just do end with like a quick round <laughs> of smelling because I have the collective. And this includes, Emmett's going to have to use his eyeballs because I can't read. Uh, it has morning after, which is woody leather musk. It has muse, which is earthy, musky, and floral. It has nomad, which is woody, amber, and floral. Haze, which is smoky, woody, and sweet. Uh, and then her floral, delicate, citrus, and nightcap, which is woody, earthy, and leather. Okay, so what I think we'll do is just kind of spray these out and then kind of pick our favorite yeah, ones. Right. How does that sound? And this collective, if you're interested in this brand, I mean, honestly, I think this is so darn cool because these are deluxe travel sizes. Like this is a really nice size to try the perfume and it comes with like their top five. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Six. And it comes with their top <laughs> six fragrances. Um, and so I just think this is always a fun way to try out a brand because um, then you can kind of pick which one you really love if you're in the, you know, to get a full bottle. Yeah. So, okay, let me do, I will spray each one and then we'll kind of, we can do first impression as well as which our favorites are. So I have a little advantage here because I already bought Haze <laughs> and I love that one. So we'll see what you think. Okay, morning after again, what's that one, Emmett? Is? Woody, leather, and musky. It's interesting. Interesting. Okay, morning after. I said the same, it wasn't like a true love. Muse. Muse is mellows, earthy, musky, and floral. Yeah, there's a little bit more floralness in that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. What was your thoughts? I liked it. I mean, I think that I actually liked morning after more. I think this was sort of just mellow a little yes. bit. Yes. Okay. Next one, I'm going with haze. We're doing speed round here, trying. Definitely and, sweet. It has yeah. like almost like a maple syrupy sort of smell to it. So haze is smoky, woody, and sweet. It is so good um, in my eyes. So if you're someone who likes a gourmand fragrance, you're going to love haze. Yeah. It's a little addictive. Um, it's funny, compared to the other two, the sweetness really came out when we were spraying. Wouldn't you say yeah, they're like the, very, the opposite yeah, of very the first sweet. two? Yeah, very sweet. Okay, then we have Nomad. I am pretty sure this is like one of their best sellers. So, mm. yeah, that makes sense. It's yeah. sort of bright and floral, but I feel like kind of mature as well. The woodiness makes it a little more. So, if you like Baccarat 540. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> that is exactly what I smelled. Um, and Nomad is woody amber floral um but when i smelled this i was like that is like a dupe for baccarat 540 yeah. and that's going to be a much cheaper i would say um good dupe but that was my like i was like oh my gosh that smells like that um do you like that scent i'm not a big baccarat oh, yeah person, you are not so. i know He's not the Baccarat. And then I want to smell this her. What is her again, Emmett? It's floral, it's delicate, and it's citrus. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it is, yeah, it's very floral. It feels yeah. like it has like almost like a like flower stems even it, you it, really get a lot of like the the greenery it, it is this one is definitely fresh like for anybody that 
gravitates towards freshies, that would be your pick. It's really nice. Yeah, it's Citrusy, very nice. floral, but like you said, there's a little bit of green earthiness in yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, and then we have Nightcap. Oh, this is so fun. Ew, let's see. Woody, earthy, and... Leather. Leather. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah. I kind of like that one. I actually I, think my favorites probably were Nightcap and Morning After. I think I like the, the leather scent that they have is very interesting. I think... Yeah, the leather night, is... Morning After and Nightcap seem similar, but uh, Nightcap seems a little cleaner, maybe, because yeah. I think Morning After has some musk to it. That's this one. Yeah, I want to smell. I this really like Morning it. After. Yep. And That's then, like... And I really like Nightcap. Yeah, Nightcap's cool. And then... Guess what my other favorite is? What? Haze. <laughs> <laughs> you like the sweet one? I like this one. You know what? It's not too... So compared to all the ones we just smelled, it did smell sweet. But like when I first smelled this, I actually smelled it on a person and was like, what are you wearing? You smell so amazing. Um, and then they were like, haze. And I went and smelled it and I was like... It has some smokiness to it. So yeah. the sweetness is in here compared to these ones. But I wouldn't, when I first smelled it on her, it was more like, um, I, there was a little bit of smoking. It was tamped down. It's not like, but now that he said maple syrup, it's sort of making me. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad like, maple. It smells like actual maple syrup. Yeah, it smells, it has a maple syrup hit to it. And, um, but it also has some smokiness to it. So I love that, but. Um, I also really liked, I'm going to quickly smell them one more time before, oh, can I smell Muse again? This is my first time smelling the, that's nice. Okay. It's mellow. Yeah, very mellow. Muse, mellow, and then Nomad. Unless you said they're like bestseller. Yeah, okay, Nomad is really, I'm really liking <laughs> You're liking it. it. Is this the Baccarat? The, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Nomad is Baccarat 540. Okay, so now we have smelled so many beautiful perfumes here. Mm -hmm. And if you were to pick one <laughs> or two, why don't you do your top three out of everything you've smelled today? Um, How's that? Top right. three. Top three. Uh, probably the Roja. Oh, Roja. Oh, okay, Roja. so talk, Sorry. yeah, no, no, <laughs> read the J's like there. No, no, it's, I guess it's called Raja. 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 I've heard, okay. So All number right. one is. We're probably Raja. Roja. Roja. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so his number one pick is. Uh, the Sola Blue. Okay. And what do you love about this one? I think it has some really interesting notes to it. It gets the watery scents yeah. pretty clear. This um, one is stunning, everybody. So if you're wanting an escape, this is definitely splurge worthy, yeah. I would say. Okay, so that's your number one. I like the Who is Elijah Nightcap. Yeah, I think it's probably Nightcap, my, Nightcap I know. is very cool. We were both, both them and I really like Nightcap. This is really interesting. Nightcap. And then it's not something that I would personally wear, but I actually think the, uh, well, I think both of the, maybe even the Wednesday. I think the Wednesday House of Siage, both of them. Okay, so you really enjoy They're just cool. Like, they're, the way that they smell is very unorthodox. Or not unorthodox. I think that they get to the essence of, like, what they're trying to do. I think the pepper is so forward here and sort of creates, like, a, I don't know. A, a flat line of like it's not really uppity it's sort of just like a, a reserved scent and then the disney one has a lot of like childhood nostalgia <laughs> yeah. smell to <laughs> it it's so. really a lot of joy like this truly did and i really like the wednesday as well yeah like, this one is going to be joyful, mm -hmm. playful, a little bit youthful and young, I would say. Yeah, I think so, too. And then I would say Wednesday is something that I think we would be like, let's put it on, wear it. Yeah. You know, like it has some um, depth and curiosity, yep. mystery to it. But, oh, okay, this Sorry. is so cool. So... This was super fun. Always love to have Emmett here. And he is 
heading back to New York City. Unless you're five thirty in the morning. It's a seven. Seven. <laughs> okay. Anyways, he is back to the city, and I'm hoping. Sometimes I like to send him over to Scent Bar to uh, smell a couple of things. You haven't been there in a while, Not have in you? A little bit. No. Yeah, but. Anyways, I'm going to send him home with some goodies as well so he can smell great in New York City. And thank you so much for coming. Of course. We love you so much. And thank you for watching. And I will be back with another video soon.